My name is Marcus with MLC CAD Systems, and I'm going to tell you about how Cobb Tuning integrated a Mark Forged additive solution into their production department. Now, before we begin, it's important to know a little bit about what Cobb Tuning does. They create upgrade components for do it yourself automotive enthusiasts. So, if you've got a car and you'd like to increase the performance, you can buy step one in their product line, which is called the access port. It's a small electronic device that reprograms the computer automatically, so you don't have to become an expert or know what the settings need to be for absolute best combustion and horsepower. Simply select it in the menu and it will reprogram your car automatically. But that's not where it ends. That's just the beginning. From there, they sell upgrade kits in phases. So for example, the first phase may be some new exhaust or some new air intake. The access port is pre-programmed with the optimal performance characteristics to implement that first step of that upgrade. These pre-configured computer snapshots or maps will take into account everything that's going on inside the vehicle and as you are able to spend more and more money and upgrade more and more components, the maps continually are upgraded to give you maximum performance. In order to support all the different vehicle models and each new model release that they build kits for, they have a small army of specialists and experts in automotive performance tuning, design, manufacturing, rapid prototyping, and they have fantastic manufacturing capabilities to build all the various components that need to go into these kits. And it was in that production department that they identified a potential for improvement. Our local additive solution specialist, Emilia Parada, went on site with Cobb Tuning to see what we could do to help. Cobb Tuning is already a customer of ours for SolidWorks and Mastercam. So she met with Dan Noji, the lead production welder who uses both SolidWorks and Mastercam to see what kind of applications we could find. Now, as it turns out, there were a bunch of applications where they might be able to use additive solution which they already understood. There were things like weld fixtures, vice jaws, and various other dies and jigs for assemblies. But the problem they really needed a solution for was this bead rolling machine. This machine forms the ends of metal tubes to create beads or other shapes so that they can fit up with other components. Now these bead rolling machines are no longer made by this company, and so there are no dies that are available to purchase. So if you have a new size that you need to create or a new shape or some change needs to be applied, you need to order a new set of dies from just a job shop. That meant designing them in 3D, sending them out, spending a few hundred dollars and waiting a few weeks in order to get that new set in just to try them out. But this machine can be pretty temperamental to operate. So it's not as simple as designing the shape you want, getting the dies in and you're back in production. What they needed was a solution that would allow them to turn around a new set of dies much more quickly so they can iterate often and respond quickly to continue the design process. The design team simply can't afford to wait weeks to test out a new die to make sure that this is going to work in a production car. They've got to get it on the dyno and they've got to get it tested quicker than that. Because this application was so demanding and the machine is so temperamental, this is the perfect example where we built a benchmark part for them. They already had 3D models of the part in SolidWorks because they were getting them made out of steel by a third party. So our applications expert, Kyle Norman, came in and took a look at what was going on and worked with Dan to understand exactly how this mounts in the machine and where the load-bearing surfaces are on the part. So he went ahead and took the design as is, loaded it up in the load bearing areas with fiberglass and printed these out, sent them on over. The testing parameters were pretty simple. We needed these parts to be able to form those metal tubes into whatever shape needed, and we needed to be able to show how quickly we could turn around new parts if a design change is required. Instead of getting direct feedback on how this test went, we got back a purchase order for a Mark II printer. They loved this thing. It worked out perfectly the first time, and the first set of dies they used for full six months without seeing any major degradation in the design. 
they expect each one of these to last a full year. Benchmarking these parts and getting them in their hands so that they could test them told them everything they needed to know about the strength and durability of Mark Forged composite parts. We went to go visit Cobb Tuning six months after they got the machine going just to see how things were going. Daniel redesigned the receiver and the inserts on the bead roller machine so the inserts themselves can print in an hour and a half and only cost three dollars each to make. So on a machine that could be temperamental like this bead roller, he can tweak the design and do multiple design iterations within, within the course of a single business day to help them keep up with their very rapid pace of product development. He found it extremely useful to create embedded text, especially on things where there were, let's call them friendly reminders, that would allow the operators to be more successful with the parts. They continued to push the envelope when it comes to strength in these parts, such as when they replaced these tube bending Delrin dies with onyx parts. These dies must slide inside the tube as it's being bent and formed to keep it from collapsing as it goes around the mandrel. The Delrin parts had to be replaced on a fairly regular basis and they had a high cost and a long lead time. But by printing these dies, it gave them a similar lifespan to the Delrin that cost a lot less and had a much shorter lead time. Some of their components have really intricate assemblies, such as this component where a pin needs to be pressed into the outside of a round tube to a very specific depth. And the pin is so small that most of the operators have a hard time even holding onto it, let alone getting it into the press. Dan designed a really cool assembly fixture that allows you to drop each of the components into place, place this under the arbor press, and push it into place with a hard stop to make sure you don't push it all the way through or damage the hollow tube. Another fantastic application they found was in welding fixtures. These welded assemblies need to be put together very, very precisely, and they're extremely complicated with multiple tube sections as well as other components or welded plates that need to be added for either attachment or for sensing within the car. In order to make these fixtures strong enough and rigid enough, they needed to be made out of heavy plate, and the more complex they got, the heavier they got, and the more weld needed to be added, which gave the potential that it would cause a warp. Durable 3D printed parts were the perfect complement for their extremely complex and diverse production environment. Now, they already knew that additive manufacturing could offer tremendous value. They already had a 3D printer that they utilized in the prototyping phase. It was this particular application that had caused them to wait so long to buy a specific part dedicated to production. They were waiting for the parts and the machines to come down in cost and to be easy to operate. Dan told us that this Mark Forge printer is effectively an assistant that works all day long and does a great job of building the parts that he needs without a lot of direction and supervision. MLC CAD Systems is proud to be a trusted solution provider for the talented team at Cobb Tuning.